talking about the difference between trading on the stock market versus investing on a stock market. What is the real difference and why a lot of people misunderstand the concept of investing on the stock market and they end up going wrong most of the time. So let's have a look. Remember, this is not a financial advice, this is from BG Trading, sharing with you how we apply our strategies to chase 20 to 40% trading stocks, how we set up targets, stop losses, and much more. So if you like the content on this channel, please share this video with someone that you believe would be interested. And also, I would like to invite you to become a member of our free Facebook community, by Grow will sell a strategy for share traders. We post a lot of great quality content, a lot of stock analysis, and much. So let's kick off with uh, the misconception, and that most of the misconception of trading, of investing on the stock market for the long term, is that people believe that you should buy few stocks and leave there for the long term and hope for the best. Especially when you're buying stocks that are coming down, stocks go up and down. Sometimes, not most of the times, and that's why, that's why we like technical analysis, but we most of the time use what we call multidimensional analysis of a three uh, key metrics, which includes technical analysis, fundamental analysis, and also macroeconomic view of that particular sector. Whatever the company does, what's happening with the sector, uh, in different uh, uh, times of the economic cycle. So, for us, investing on the stock market should not be a passive income like idea. So if you think you can buy stocks and put the money there and live for a while, even if the stocks are paying dividends, that's not the most effective strategy. And that's because if you look into the SX200, only generate about 16% return over the last 16 years. Since the top of the GFC, just before the GFC, before the crash, the ASX was worth almost 7,000 now is 7,600 uh, only. So it's not much of a difference if you if you look into 2007 uh, to 2024, we're talking about actually seven, almost 18 years. So the whole idea is that uh, what we do here at the BG Trading, we buy stocks high quality companies sometimes, sometimes we speculate, but you can uh, simply by doing buying high quality companies at a technically discounted price, we use our concept of technically discounted price, something that we teach you in our online courses, and then we wait those stocks to go up, then we sell it, we lock in profit, then we wait and buy it again. And while you're waiting, we are looking to different sectors and buying stocks in different sectors. And by trading stocks within one to three months time, locking 20 to 40%, that's how when we have all those trading positions, positive trading winners accrued over the time, then that's how we have our investment return. And that's how we invest on the stock market. If it was simply to leave the money into particularly stocks, there is there are only very few stocks, that companies that manage to grow its earning year on year in Australia and even in the US. And obviously we talk about Google, Tesla, uh, Facebook, Apple, here in Australia we talk about Macquarie Bank, uh, CSL, uh, and maybe all the few companies here, but not many. And we're seeing, even if you go to blue chip stocks, if you see, you get the concept of, oh, let's buy blue chip stocks because blue chip stocks are great companies. But if you look at, let's take, let's talk about the three uh, of the four big banks, NZ, NAB, and Westpac. Those three banks, those three banks, those three stocks are currently worth less it was worth back before the GFC. And why is that? Because they managed, they, they haven't been able to grow its earnings year on year as Commonwealth Bank did or Macquarie Bank did. So how can you pick up the winner? 
very tricky because the winner one during, uh, during one decade can become a loser in the next decade. So that's why we need to shift the money effectively and actively into different sectors and different stocks. And we found the best way, the way that we've been helping hundreds of people through BG uh, trading VIP membership program is by trading 20 to 40% with one to three month lead time mid-size and sometimes a large caps with reasonably uh, mid to high risk positions. So you see, even high quality companies offer high, high, uh, high risk on investments. So you gotta be, really make sure you do your research. And that's what we do here. We do research because we trade on a regular basis. If you think the stock market should be a long-term investment, passive income, uh, you should really reconsider maybe going to into property because that's what we do. Our passive, almost passive, because we still need to manage those properties, but our mostly like passive income are sitting into real estate, into investment property because investment property, if you buy in the right location, then you are likely to have a, a considerable capital growth. Obviously, you don't want to buy uh, low quality property as well, just like stocks, but it seems to be the only thing that is, uh, it's not as manipulated as a stock, which is property very hard to manipulate the real estate market here in Australia and that's why we like that as investment but as a, uh, a uh, but as in investing on the stock market we really want to uh, highlight the fact that we need to be trading over and over again in order to have a good return on investment over the years even though you can you, there's no guarantees in the market so our strategy also focus into lock in uh, and uh, and blocked block some potential falls, you know, via stop losses. So it's you really need to consider stop losses as well because sometimes you buy stocks like you go and buy Commonwealth Bank now for hundred ten dollars or something like this. Who knows if in two, three, four years time Commonwealth Bank will be two hundred dollars? Perhaps it could be eighty dollars if it doesn't. If it Commonwealth Bank doesn't manage to grow its earnings, so it's obviously all oh, a big game of probability that you need to consider and you have to draft your own strategy. There's nobody better than yourself to learn the ways uh, that can be profitable for you and then you manage your own money because people out there want to manage your money uh, as if, you know, or if that was their money. Never happened to me, and I don't think that many people are interested. There's so much conflict of interest out there. That's why you should learn, educate yourself with the right strategy, apply that, uh, see if it works. So learn how to manage your own money and then make the right decision. Hope that was uh, valuable for you. So investment versus trading, it's kind of a, a linked, but you need to trade many times to have effective investment on the stock markets unless you uh, manage to pick very, very few uh, stocks that manage to grow its earning year on year every single uh, decade, for example, which is very, very rare. You see that in the US, you don't see much here in Australia, potentially, if you were able to do that, then obviously there's a good investment uh, passive income, but very, very rarely on the stock market. So hopefully that was valuable. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.